This is Jack McBrayer. I play Kenneth the Page on 30 Rock on NBC. I'm here with my buddy Lonnie Ross, who plays Josh Gerard on 30 Rock. I am here at Silver Cup Studios where we film 30 Rock. And as you can see, the accommodations are extravagant, lush. We're going to be giving you a tour around uh, just to sh show you what happens behind the scenes of a TV show like 30 Rock. Here we are in the lobby of Silver Cup Studios here in Long Island City, New York. A lot of productions have shot here before. Some are currently still going on. The Sopranos and Just My Luck, if you can believe it. That movie. Put that in your journals. But let me uh, show you to our dressing rooms. This is my dressing room. Kenneth, you can see it's very carefully taped on with used tape on a piece of paper. So let's uh, let's see how a TV star lives. Ooh, jealous much? Wow, very nice. I know it's like an extravagant prison cell. <laughs> We're about to go to one of the uh, stages. Thirty Rock occupies about four studio stages here. As you can see, people are working all the time. Uh, it is just a buzz with people loafing and loitering, people eating granola at all hours. It's never too early or too late for granola. This is our craft services area, lots of good grub. Sometimes we steal food from here and take it home. Here we are in Studio 5, uh, which is where we have the set of Jack Donaghy's office, uh, played by Alec Baldwin. So let's come on in and take a look at that. Let's go on in, see how Alec Baldwin's character lives. This is his desk with expensive toys. This is one of my favorites. What do you think this is, Lonnie? Is that a pencil sharpener? I don't. Nope. It's a lighter. Just in case, y'all. Just in case. I'm gonna end it all. I'm sick of this. All right, don't get too close to the edge. I'm sick of this. Be careful. I'm out of here, dummies. What are you? Jack, no. Jack! Jack? Ta da! I'm Lonnie. I play Josh on the show. We are in the writer's room. This is kind of the bullpen where all the writers pitch ideas to Liz Lemon, played by Tina Fey, who's the head writer of TGS. This is where Frank and Twofer write. Frank, played by Judah Friedlander. He's into some weird gadgets and gizmos. You can kind of get his character's personality based off of his desk. And I know Judah's brought in some of his own things to make it feel more real. Behind that, we have Twofer's desk, played by Keith Powell. And Twofer's kind of the, the buttoned up Ivy League guy. And you can tell how clean his desk is. As actors on the show, to make it feel a little more realistic to us, we get to bring in some of our own things. Keith Powell brought in some pictures to put on the wall to remind him of home when he's at work. So a lot of people online, I believe, um, are asking the question, you know, what is that picture behind Liz Lemon when she sits at her desk? And being that we're here and we can actually get really close to it and see what it is for all the people that want to know, it is actually two thermostats. Some might say it takes the shape of something else if you really use your imagination, but hate to burst your bubble, it's just two thermostats. And they're both set to 70. Hey, this is Jack again. Here's some trivia. Yeah. Some of the pictures that Tina Fey and Scott Adsit, who plays Pete Hornberger, some of the pictures they have on the wall in their office are pictures from their shows at Second City in Chicago. Right now, we're in the writer's room. You're looking at a board of possible sketches for the fake show. Some of the fake sketches that you'll never really see, but they kind of exist in our fake world. Let's see what we got cooking. Looks like Lutz is working on a sketch. Gardner talking gnome who is brilliant as friend. All right, we are in Studio One. We are in the backstage area. You see Laura, the lovely blonde lady in the background? That's my stand-in. She's a girl. What they're doing is they're setting up for scene 27 of our 20th episode. It's gonna be a scene where I'm at the page desk. Weird, right? So here we have some of our writers on the show. They are writers for TGS. Here we have... Sue. Sue Galloway. Rachel Hamilton. Rachel Hamilton. We just did a scene where Tracy's going crazy and we get... That's weird. It is weird. <laughs> we stood in the back and, and I, did the, I did this. We get to gossip professionally. Yeah. But really, we're not just gossiping about what's going on in the show. We're, going, we're gossiping about what's going on in the show. 
Damn, y'all. Damn. <laughs> the plan for these is uh, we are going to build trees out of them. Fake trees out of real wood. So, I think we've got the right idea, America. Let's keep doing it. Think green. Think green. <laughs> Anthony. Yeah. Hi. You play one of the writers on TGS as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Tell yeah. us a little bit about it. Um, well, it's an exciting, invigorating environment yeah. where every day I'm learning more and more about what it means to express myself through the art of silent performance. Oh, brother. Here we are in wardrobe at 30 Rock. Let's go on in and let's take a look at what happens here. As you can see, wall-to-wall -wall clothes. Uh, you can see some of the crazy costumes we use in sketches with the robot. This is Tom Broker. He's our designer. Who's been the easiest actor to you, dress? You, of course. What's been the biggest challenge? The biggest thing I think that we had the most sort of confusion about was the blue man. She was essentially a hallucination, and so we had to figure out what that was. Exactly. Oh, hello. I didn't expect you. This is where uh, actors come in for their fittings. Um, and so they'll try stuff on, alterations will be made, and then uh, TV magic happens. My lady. <laughs> One cool thing that uh, this wardrobe department has to do is not only just clothe the characters that are on 30 Rock, but they have to dress the characters that are on TGS, which is a sketch variety show. So you can have some crazy things on here, like fighting robots. Or in this episode, we have super hot babies, which I don't know exactly what the final product is going to look like, but it's going to involve these masks, and they're building a bonnet. So. Our wardrobe department is essentially working for two completely different shows. Kudos, wardrobe. Kudos. We've had uh, some amazing guest stars on the show. Paul Rubens was great. Uh, Isabella Rossellini. Rip Torn has been on the show. Will Arnett is going to be uh, in an upcoming episode. Ghostface Killer was on the show. Member of the Wu-Tang Clan. LL Cool J was a really nice guy, really funny on the show, and nice enough to give out some of his uh, fitness books to some of the staff. I don't know if he was sending us a message, but boy, is he beautiful. We really do get great guest stars on the show, and it's you know because the writing is so great on the show, and uh, Tina's just great, and people just want to be a part of this experience. Tina's going to see this, right? Let's go say hey to Andrew Guest, who is our script coordinator. Uh, he is the one who delivers the scripts to all of the actors and works with all of the writers and producers. Uh, Andrew, uh, tell us a little bit about what is going to happen today and what y'all have been doing over the past uh, couple days. Well, Jack McBrayer, I am uh, just finishing proofing our season finale. I am uh, trying to get it to everybody as soon as I can. Um, how late were y'all here last night getting this all together? I was here till 5.30 this morning. I was back again at 1.30 this afternoon. Always coming in late, dude. Here we got Josh Silberman. Josh is the assistant to Robert Carlock, who's one of our head writers. Josh, sometimes Lonnie and I, we come up here and we bug you. We're like, hey, Josh, let us see some of the dailies. Right, right. Um, and explain to the people what that means. Uh, the dailies are the scenes that we shot. They are uploaded every day, so we can look at them. It's just raw footage. Raw footage, and which will then be edited down. Yes. Does it bother you that uh, Lonnie and I keep asking you for this? Um... Yes. This is Eric Gurian, assistant to Tina Fey. Uh, Eric, tell us a little bit about your duties here on 30 Rock. Uh, when Tina comes in, I make sure that she is here. And then uh, when she's super hungry during the day, I make sure that she has food for uh, her belly. So you are Tina's babysitter. No, it's, I, think it's a, I think it's called Manny. <laughs> What's been some of the most challenging things you've had to do here? Uh, well, when we shot... The second episode, the aftermath, we were out on a boat all day, if you recall that, Mr. McBrayer. And it was raining most of that day. That was not a super great day, but we're all just happy to be uh, working in the business. Thank you, NBC. 